Hey guys, Mike here, and I can't wait to show you what I've been working on for the last about six weeks. Let's go. Now this right here, what I'm so excited about, is my RC LiPo charging box. Let's take a look. All right, there she is. Now, should we uh, light it all up? There we go. Woohoo! got a wire here and uh, that just helps with, uh, you know take off the weight of the um, of the hinges here and um, yeah I mean I, I'm loving this thing it's actually uh, you know it's all compact it saves me from spreading out all my batteries all over the floor uh, it took a hell of a long time to make <laughs> probably a lot more time than it say it's gonna save uh, with me being organized but um, yeah, now uh, now it is all neat and all professional. So there's a bit of a disco in here. Now um, I've got a couple lights, um, the blue lights lighting everything up, some accent lighting in the back here, and also a little bit of uh, lighting behind, just to um, make it all pretty. Um, all the lighting is running off a uh, butt converter, which is up here. So that's just converting it to the 12 volts. Um, the first charger that I've got here is for the Fat Shark battery, so that takes 18650 batteries, so they can just go up in here, and um, they'll start charging like that. Um, then you've got the four main spots, so we've got uh, four XT60 um, parallel charging boards. Um, we've got that one here, and then those three. The other two will be an XT30 there and there um, for those little tiny uh, whoop batteries and um, the batteries for this little guy, the Acro Brat. And um, they're just, you know, tiny little batteries, so that don't mind sort of uh, hanging off here, just sort of dangling there. Um, I've got a little bit of a free spot. I'll probably put a smoke sensor in there, like a gas sensor. Uh, now, I've got four of the uh, ISDT Q6 chargers, two of them are the Plus models, two of them are the Pro models. The Pro models will be um, uh, charging these two parallel boards, and uh, they're running off a 50 amp output from the charger. Uh, the, other, the other four boards will be running off 10 amp channels each so um, there's plenty of power to go around especially here this this uh, parallel board is designed to go this direction so that I can fit my big 3000 milliamp hour batteries which will basically take up the entire length here um, now I might just turn this off just for a second because the lights probably better like that alrighty so um, <clears throat> yeah I can run the long batteries up there um, now, the, when these XT30s are running, they'll be running off just these two chargers, and uh, the way I've got them to work with only, you know, with six boards and four chargers, is that these two chargers will power both these two boards and these two boards, and the parallel uh, charging wires, uh, the balance leads, are actually split and connected to each other. So um, there's a Y split in the wires and they're all soldered up and connected. Um, so that's how I manage that and it just means that if I'm using the two XT30s then I can't be using these two boards and vice versa. 
So that's actually quite easy to work out, but you wouldn't want to get it wrong. You might start a fire. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is that is it. Um, all the all the wiring is um, nice and hidden behind here. So um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll flash a photo up on the screen of all the wiring that goes on behind here. This took hours upon hours upon hours, lots of um, lots of time to sort of work it out and try and hide cables underneath the parallel boards, underneath this bit. And I'm still actually battling an issue with getting this to close. I did have it all perfect and then uh, as the wires started building up behind here, it, it really got difficult to actually um, keep the thickness of this part in here down because all the wires were bundling up. Um, uh, so I actually need to reduce the size of this to make it all fit, but I'm just too loaded with work at the moment. So I'm just going to leave it as is, enjoy it, and um, you know that that will be the battery here, the um, the power point. Now that power point comes out like that, so that can be uh, easily transported. We'll just plug him in there. Now, initially I designed this to be uh, a bit of a safe charging box with all these uh, separated alloy plates uh, separating the different um, types of batteries with, with you know, there'll, there'll be different ones charging here and, you know, it did have a high wall um, so that if there was a fire or something happened in one section, it wouldn't spread to the other sections, but to make clearance it, and everything for this uh, nice big Turnergy charger I ended up making the smaller wall. So it's not quite an, as safe of a box, but it's still much more contained than what I used to do, which was spreading out my batteries over this whole floor here in my bedroom. So um, now it's all in one neat little place. I still haven't quite figured out uh, somewhere to put it, but maybe a little table will go here um, because the rest of it's, uh, yeah, getting uh, <laughs> there's there's a lot going on with all the work I do so um, okay guys so that's uh, about all I can think of to say about this new charge setup and uh, if you have any comments about the concept any feedback um, or if you uh, thinking about doing it yourself just uh, let me know in the comments thanks a lot bye